friends, welcome back in. My name is Katie and this is Floss Tube episode number four. Um, welcome in. It today is Sunday, April 2nd, and um, it is a glorious spring day outside right now. So um, what better time to talk about our favorite thing, some crafts. Um, to welcome in and get comfy and um, let's talk some crafts, uh, primarily cross stitching and knitting. Occasionally there will be some other things thrown in, but those are the two main ones. So um, as always, we're gonna start with works in progress, our whips, and um, we're gonna talk and see the progress that I've made on my projects in the past few weeks. So, just realized I was missing it back. Okay, so we're gonna talk cross stitch and um, I'm gonna start with my oldest whip and I'm gonna grab it here, uh, which is Vintage Simplicity by Dimensions. It's Dimensions kit and I will show you where I am. Hopefully she's not too blurry. Down there, okay. So not a massive amount of progress. Um, I debated getting on here and even recording since there isn't always usually a ton of progress, but I am trying to keep to the regular schedule. So this is gonna be a kind of slowly but surely thing. Cross stitch does tend to go very slowly, um, but I'm really just working in on filling in this part of her dress. I'm I'm starting to feel the urge to, to focus on this one. This one be my focus piece because she is old. Um, so yeah, a little bit more filled in here and then I'll fill in a little bit here and then I'm going to be ready to move the hoop and go up in this direction. Um, and I will pull up the, or hold up the cover picture if I can find it. It's sitting right here. It's going to be a bunch of me, like my bags were down on the ground so I'm going to be popping up and down kind of like a whack-a-mole. So this is what the, focus, don't focus on me, focus on the picture. There we go. So yes, it looks like a kind of 1950s um, dressmaking pattern that you would like go and buy the fabric for and get it at the, the craft store and make yourself. Um, so that is kind of what that is. It's supposed to be a gift for my mom who um, is a seamstress and I wanted to put that in her new sewing room. So I started that, gosh, back in 2021. And then I didn't touch it at all for 2022. So that was not good. So now it is in the regular rotation. And part of doing floss tube is really keeping me like on my toes and actually not losing the, the mojo as much. Excuse me. <sighs> so yes, that is Vintage Simplicity. It's, um, there's so much fudging going on in that. Um, like, y'all, my count is just like so off. It's, it's from a distance, it looks fine. I think once it's framed and up on a shelf, you won't be able to tell, but I just keep finding all these mistakes. Um, so this was my first major project getting back into cross stitch. So unsurprisingly, there are quite a few errors, but I think I have gotten better. So that is Vintage Simplicity, and um, I will include a picture of where I was after last week's episode, and you'll be able to see. Okay, where we are today. My next project is um, Tonight We Ride by Autumn Lane Stitchery, and um, this is my Dark 13 project, and I do also include it throughout the regular Stitchy week, Friday was March 31st. So I got several um, good hours, which it doesn't look like I've done a ton. I'm gonna try and get in really close on this moon. Um, and I filled in a lot more up here until I couldn't go any further to the edge of the hoop. And then I started filling in these little holes with that darker beigey yellowy color. So making pretty good progress on this. Um, 
Once I can't do any more on the moon, I'll be able to start a little bit more in on the witch who goes in this region. Um, and I should show you what the uh, finished cover picture looks like because it is pretty cool. So I, I keep it in the plastic. I work off of a working copy that I made um, this way. And um, I think that's better. Um, so I like to keep my originals kind of pristine. I'm a little bit of a collector that way. I kind of freak out if it gets must and fussed. Um, but so this is going to be so cool. I I really like this. I do enjoy the spoopy and Halloween-y things all year round. Um, just super, super pleased with this. This is um, 196 by 130 stitch, 37 stitches. So this is definitely the largest project I've ever undertaken. And then for the fabric, this is 16 count pumpkin patch from Be Stitch Me. And it's just perfect. Everything that I got for this project came in Autumn Lane Stitchery's first Halloween box. Their first kind of mystery box that they put together. And um, there were three other patterns, but this was kind of like the big um, focus one. And so it's just DMC floss and that really nifty needle minder. The words, I'm not finding the words. So, um... And then as, as usual, I will um, take insert a picture of my starting point and then today, what you just saw, so we can see what the difference is. Because um, we like to see the progress, it's satisfying. Snail Biscornu is the next cross stitch project. And this is a free pattern from Doreen Jones. She's a British designer and she is in a lot of magazines I have seen and noticed. Um, so this is um, a free pattern that I got from her Facebook group. She has so many free patterns, it's incredible. She has some really cute bookmarks that I'm pretty excited to work on as well. And um, this is also my first Biscornu. This is regular old 14 count Ada. Um, I did double check. Last time I said that this does, seems too, like the holes are too big for 14 count, but the package says that it's 14, so it's kind of interesting. Um, but I really enjoy this kind of like oatmeal-y color. I think it's like the perfect neutral. It looks very um, like raw and kind of rustic is, is the word that I'm looking for. And so I am just working my way down and across. Um, there are four snails, so it's really a bunch of leaves and mushrooms that are the filler. Um, but I filled in this little guy last time. Perhaps they should all have names. I'm not sure. Mm, that would be something I'd have to think about. Um, but yes, I work on this Sundays most of the time. I use on my Instagram um, Sunday snail stitching. So if you're ever inclined, then um, if you choose to do this pattern, that'd be pretty cool if you use that as well. Uh, so yes, that is my snails update, which is kind of appropriate because I feel very slow with my progress and my um, speed with stitching. But as we should remind ourselves, it is not a race. Alrighty, so... That is it for cross stitch whips. Um, so we're gonna move on to knitting. I'm gonna grab the next project bag. Next knitting project, or the first knitting project, next whip is the framework bralette from Jessie Mae Designs. And I will insert a picture here of um, the cover picture, or I think maybe one of the models would be better. Um, so yes, it is a little bralette. And I finished, let's see, okay. Oh no, okay. Like I said last time, I, I pick up a project and it like, it's like Gremlins got at it, I don't know how. Um, it's just sitting there and somehow it gets so tangled. So I finished the third cup of the bralette. So there's, and then my stitch marker just jumped off. So there's two, it's, you know, symmetrical to in front, to in back, and then the straps connect. And I finished the third cup, and I'm ready to start um, 
there's a specific decrease that she uses on them and I can never, I always have to keep looking it up and uh, I think I don't remember it. I would remember it by now, but I didn't. So um, I stopped there and I uh, am ready to pick this up next week and really get moving on it again. Um, so this is a worsted weight acrylic yarn. Um, really like the color, but it is not particularly fun to work with. So, um, yes. I do love the color though. It just gives me um, big Barbie and Elle Woods vibes, which I'm here for. Yes, I think that's better. So there you have it, a framework bralette. And I think I will make more than one of these. This is a really great pattern. Um, and it is getting warm here in Georgia. Um, it's quite warm these days. We're in the 70s regularly now. So um, spring has sprung and I could not be happier. It's uh, my favorite time of year. I love the warm weather and the sunshine. I'm just a much happier person. Probably something to do with my brain chemistry. Um, you know, I actually did not write this down. And it's funny, my next project I completely forgot about. Yeah, so let me grab it, please. So the next project is the Bridget Hat and Mitt Set. And um, I did finally go and get new needles for this. This is the brim of a hat and um, it's, it's got beautiful cables and I will insert the cover picture here so you can see. And um, I did about two rows last night and unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to tink them back. I, uh, this is a project that I cannot have like distractions or, or TV on, it's cables, it's quite a lot of counting, um, which I'm not known for being great at. So uh, I made some mistakes and my count was all off so when I have some, some really good quiet time, I will try to correct it. But that is where I'm at. I did work on it. You can't really tell. I did two rows. Um, you can see the stitch marker. Ooh, focus, please. There you go. Uh, not, honestly, not really worth mentioning a whole lot. Uh, but so for uh, this project details, these are a 16 inch, oh dear, the ball jumped off. Um, a 16 inch circular from Chow Gu, that's a size seven. And the yarn is a DK weight Super Rush Merino. Um, my brain just stopped. It's a DK weight Super Rush Merino wool um, from Plymouth. Plymouth? Yes, Plymouth. Um, and the color Wisteria. It's showing up more royal blue on camera, but this is a very, more of a royal purple. I just adore this color. Very into purple the past year or so. So I'm going to go and grab this ball that jumped out of my hands. There should be quite a few jump cuts in this one. This little big one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like these videos are getting briefer and briefer. Um, maybe I'm getting better at talking to you guys or something else. I'm not sure what. But yes, I, I felt so silly when I opened up another project bag and saw that sitting there completely forgotten. Um, because I wanted to get the new needles. Those, the bamboo ones were making it, making me not want to work on it. So I went and got a new set. And I like them so much better. Um, so I think investing in really good tools is pretty important. Now, this is, I've been really uh, focused on this one too. I enjoy working on it. Um, the pattern is just so well written. I love this yarn. Um, I love these needles. It's a very, um, satisfying and just it's it's fun to work on so we'll write this 
it gets very, it's so large now, it's, it does get super tangled. Um, so last we chatted, did I move this? I don't think so. So this is, um, here's my stitch marker, and this is so big, I'm really trying not to cover my face, but this, this is a big project. So my stitch marker is, you can try and pull it, it was there, and I were, Jeez, this is like what, 15 rows, something like that? So as you can see, I definitely have been excited to work on this. And I don't know if you can see it, but this next section, I'm probably gonna work on a little bit this afternoon. It's gonna be a honeycomb stitch. And I think it's so cool and it's really fun to work on. Um, I just, everything about this I love. And this was my birthday start last year. So I'm really glad that it I did turn out liking it um, because, um, it has turned into quite a long project. It's been not quite a year. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's Sharon Air. I just think it's fantastic. This thing is so big. I don't know if I'll ever make more than one of these, but um, I learned a lot of new techniques and um, important things about trusting the pattern and lessons and things like that. So um, just love this. And I'm very excited to try more of these pink projects. Um, so yeah, I do have one more work in progress. I actually, I'm gonna take uh, cell phone footage of my book nook that I started. Um, it is currently sitting on my dining room table. Um, <sighs> I, th I think I'm gonna go downstairs and take cell phone footage of it just for you to see what I have so far. At this point, it is really just super gluing the pieces together. So um, not super far into it, but it is very fun. And I, I, I think it's just gonna look so cute when it's finished. So I'm going to insert um, the footage of the book nook probably at the tail end of, of um, actually right here at the tail end of whips. Hey everyone, I wanted to get on here um, and take this little cell phone video to show you kind of what um, the book nook, how that's coming along. Um, so this is the cover of the booklet and that's what the finished one will look like. And um, in, and it gives you like all the parts that come with it and the pieces that come together. And then here is kind of what a few of the pieces look like. Um, it's some like, cardboard and balsa wood or slightly it's slightly thicker than cardstock um there's quite a few pieces and you just punch them out and you follow the instructions and at this point it's really just gluing them together so they'll tell you what part numbers and they're all alphabetically labeled so you can see you know it'll tell you get a6 and then it'll probably be affixed to the corresponding um part but this is really what I've been working on for the most part. It's a lot of just gluing things together at this point. Um, I didn't like the glue that came in the kit from Amazon. So I just went and picked up some Gorilla Glue Super Glue. It works really well. Um, and no need to use like wood glue and then have to like clamp it because this is really fragile. So um, it could break. And I just love the aesthetic. Like, isn't that adorable? little like steps and I uh, made a tree and a little balcony um so here are just the pieces and even comes with cats look the little kitties um so right now it's all mostly a bunch of very like scattered and discombobulated pieces um I kind of got frustrated and put it aside for a minute because you're supposed to insert these little slats to make these little pieces to make steps and they're just not going in evenly so i i couldn't i'm not sure what to do um but they're all all wonky and um i got frustrated and i got tired so i stepped away which is i think an important thing to learn so that is where i am with that i just wanted to add in this little clip with the update um, to show you nothing super duper exciting. I do love how it looks. It's very aesthetic. Um, so 
that is the progress on the book note. All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. <clears throat> okay, so I only have really one acquisition that is, oh gosh, excuse me, I bought something. Um, I did my first dying for cross stitch order. Um, I've never used silk embroidered floss before and I kind of want to be a little bit bougie. Um, I enjoy being bougie and I got some silks. I ordered six skeins actually. I Six or eight, something like that. So this is a bag. Um, these are all very typical colors for me. No one is surprised that um, I would ever pick these colors. So I'm gonna go through and show you what I got because these are just stunning. I love them. And this is my first time for cross stitch order. So I did learn a somewhat important lesson about their, their site. I didn't realize like a noob that there are different size skeins. I assume they were all just the typical, um, you know, DMC, however big those are. So these are, I'm gonna do them in sections. These are 25 yard skeins and let me hold them up for you. So this is Coastal. Can you see? Yes, focus on this. It's a really pretty medium green, grays and blue variegated. Love these colors. Very beachy and springy to me. So that is Coastal. Then I got two skeins, excuse me, it's falling. Two skeins of pink zebra. Pink zebra. And then I also got three skeins of pretty and pink. Focus. Hmm. Huh. There we go, okay. Pretty in pink, very similar. I'm very aware that they're very similar. And then this one is actually pretty special, I think. This is, beg your pardon, Pirate's Booty. Please focus. It's so much more vibrant and glowy in person. It's just the most gorgeous turquoise, purple, and fuchsia, and silvery color. It is stunning. Um, and I don't know, especially these ones that I got three of, I don't know what I'm gonna do with 75 yards of Pretty in Pink, but um, you can believe I'm gonna find something there. They're just lovely. And then the smaller ones, I got two skeins of 10 yards of cherry blossom. Please focus. Come on. Oh, yes. So you can tell I definitely gravitate towards the same kinds of colors. I adore gray. I think it's just the best neutral ever. Um, you'll see in a minute. And then last but not least, I got Isle. Lovely tonal um, emerald green. It's not really Kelly green, it's more emerald. It's also one of my favorite colors. I adore jewel tones like this Pirate's Booty. Not only is it a fantastic name, so good. Um, these jewel tones are just the most beautiful to me. Um, so the whole reason, let's move into plans. The whole reason I did a haul, I wanted to get some silk and some beautiful variegated silk was for um, a springtime sale from Marumi Crafts. She designed a pattern called the Song of No Ruse. And um, I'll try to link to her page or her video that she talks about it. It's a, so No Ruse is a Persian festival on the spring equinox. Um, to celebrate the start of spring. It's a, it's a new beginning, a new season. Um, let me hold up, I'll insert the cover picture for the that um, for that pattern here. And um, it's just beautiful. And I thought, you know, what, what better floss for that than cherry blossom? So 
I have this fabric that's been waiting so patiently. It's a um, 16 count Ada from Wichelt in Icelandic gray. And um, I just thought Song of Nerus on this fabric and this floss would be chef's kiss. Because to me, the, the most synonymous thing with spring is cherry blossoms. Um, and pink is my favorite color. So it just, everything fell into place. It was perfect. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to start it. That's going to be sometime in the next week. I will actually get this on a hoop and start the pattern. So excited. I think it will be absolutely stunning. I do hope I have enough floss. I don't think it's a very large pattern. So I think 20 yards should be more than sufficient. Um, but yes, that is my first plan. It is going to be a new start. Um, however, a little bit more immediately, my friend Beck um, on uh, Beck Elaine on like, Instagram, and she's in some of my uh, friends' Twitch streams, and she's just really awesome, um, is doing a birthday stitch along for, it starts today. Um, they're, we're going to be on a little Zoom call tonight for her birthday, and she loves cats, so she's asked everyone to work on and start a cat project with cats on them for your cats, anything to do with cats. So I have a pattern that I almost forgot about actually, which is an indication that I probably have too many patterns. Um, but anyway, it's a, um, uh, So the pattern that I'm going to work on for Beck's birthday stitch along, um, using the hashtag Beck's Cat Kingdom Cell, the Cat Kingdom Cell, as always, I will put it here-ish with the correct, exact hashtag to use. So it is Happy Summer from the Frosted Pumpkin, and it has a little kitty, kitty's head, um, with like sunglasses and some watermelon and other, you know, summer, uh, I kind of, you know, things that you think of when you think summer. And I have this fabric that I've been waiting to use. I was going to use it on another pattern, but it's just perfect from Fiberlicious Any Fibers in the color Rock and Robin. This is 18 count. Um, I just adore this color. It's so, it just screams pool, Caribbean beach. Um, so yeah, that is going to be my next start. And I think it's going to look so good on this fabric. So I can't wait. I am full of motivation and enthusiasm and stitch in it, all the things. That, that's where my brain's at right now. Um, so I'm going to make sure to insert that clip for the book nooks. And then, um, you know, that is everything. That is all she wrote. So thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you would like to be um, notified for updates. And I appreciate all of y'all, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend, and I will see you in the next one.